to pick up where we left off. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, so the mayor of the town just basically didn't believe it until people started dying in front of his face. So he's in his office talking to get help. His assistant goes and gets a thing of water out of a water um, fountain, a cup of water. He's in his office. He starts drinking. He starts feeling sick because the ghost, when it's manifesting itself, everything glows. Yet nobody saw this glow. We saw the glow, but nobody else saw this glow. He starts drinking the water. All of a sudden, he starts getting sick and spouting out blood until the stupid shark pops out of his body without ripping his while ripping his body in half. And I'm sitting there going, really? Wow. That's not nice. <laughs> Directly in half. It's like he unzipped I didn't either, from right to center and down. Anyway, Eventually, the mayor dies. The mayor's on the toilet. Imagine. We'll, we'll, we'll say no more. We'll say no more. If it rains, the shark comes out in raindrops. And he has, and he's killed. Um, Isn't that how he ate Richard Mall? Rain in front of the little lighthouse. He came out in a little puddle. Richard Mull, who played Bull in um, Night Court, he's in the movie. He's probably not that proud. He's but a weird character from town that held this dark, dirty secret about the Indian relics that made the ghost shark. And he was nuts. And well, it worked. He's, he's nuts, but no, he was nuts, Dad. Yeah, but he, but he had enough knowledge and sense so that if they had listened to them, to him, they would have survived, or at least had an idea what was going on and been able to combat it earlier in the movie, but that wouldn't have made any sense to do it earlier in the movie. Then the movie would have been shorter. We would have been spared. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But why, why spare us? I mean, come on. But anyway, give them the conclusion. No, no. Your favorite part first before anything else. <laughs> At the beginning of the movie, well, we heard about the first death. But then when it started hitting, like, the town. In the beach area. In the beach area. And, of course, there are hundreds of town people in the water enjoying the surf and turf and the whole bit. Bathing suits and, you know, bouncing around. Oh, wait. Oh, stop splashing me. You wish that's, the shark that's, would. That's too much animation. No, you wish the shark would come out then. But and it didn't. And it did shortly thereafter. Oh my god, I forgot about the car wash. Well. Girls were scrubbing somebody's car. Came out. Girls in bikinis doing the car wash. It was the funniest thing. That was funny. Because the shark was in a bucket. And all you saw was the girl's legs flailing like that as she was going down. (laughs) I like that. (laughs) But anyway, go ahead. Hit the scene, Dad. The the scene that I thought was humorous (laughs) was... The, the mayor of the, the town is an African-American, and his son is one of the first to see this actual ghost shark. But, of course, you know, none, none of the adults are going to believe what the kids say. Obviously, you know. So the kids are out in the water, uh, riding on the jet ski, and um, one of the girls, early in the movie... A girl, like one of the popular uh, yeah, girls or something. A supporting cast girl. Uh, Bait, basically. She goes into the water... And yeah, she's on a raft. Actually, she's on a rubber That's raft. That's right. She's on a rubber raft, Sling and the there. shark hits her from the bottom, and, and she thinks it's up one the... somebody fooling around. Quit, stop it! Around, Leave me alone. There's nobody close to her, and hits her again and knocks her out. That she realizes that this is something in the water after me. So, the shark's fins come up, and she sees the translucent fins, and she starts to swim away. Well, the mayor's son and another. Every set young adolescent boy. His best friend. His best friend. What was his name? Who was Wait. eaten later on. Mick. Uh, are on, on a jet ski, and they go to a rescue. And the mayor's son who's driving a jet ski knocks his big friend off to get the girl on. Okay. Save her. She gets on. The shark comes after him. Because uh, after the jet ski, the girl knocks the mayor's son off into the water. <laughs> and speeds away herself. She says, screw you, I'm getting out of here. So now both the boys are in the water flailing away. The girl thinks she's getting away, right? Wrong. The shark comes and get her, too. And he basically just does something like that. He just 
and that's how he kills. And the mayor's son and his friend get away temporarily. But that was just funny. I mean, they come to her rescue. <laughs> she gets on the ski. She says, screw this, and knocks him off and takes off herself. It was just hilarious. So that's our torture that we do for you. If, if you have something to do, like... Breathe. Prepare for a colonoscopy or <laughs> donate blood or, like I said before, you know, have those teeth pulled without anesthesia. You probably enjoy that more than watching <laughs> Ghost Shark. Caca. <laughs> and it's not ghost caca. It's <laughs> authentic caca. So, we hope you had fun. And we'll see you next week, because trust me. If, yeah. if you watch Go Shark shortly thereafter, go out and lay in traffic <laughs> and have it run over you. You'll feel better. I'm done. So, we're sorry. And, again, I welcome this regularly. Every day, rather than watching Go Shark. So, we'll see you. Have a good weekend. And we're sorry.